What is up guys, welcome back to another live in the OU tier. Today we are using a team that our friend Redithan or Ethan made. Uh, it is a Kumfei team with Alolan Muck, Charizard Y, uh, Offensive Garchomp, Scarfed, uh, Genesect, and Defensive Zapdos. Really cool team. Uh, I suggested that he add Zard Y to it, he had the other five members. Uh, so I decided to give it a run. Uh, I haven't actually tested it yet at all, so I have no idea what I'm jumping into, how good the team is, or anything. Uh, in fact, I believe that Ethan swapped out Zapdos, if I'm not mistaken, for a defensive Tapu Fini as a defogger instead. Uh, if I can just find it here really quickly. Sorry, guys. Uh, where is it? Sorry. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool set. Basically, if you're able to get rocks up, which you are able to do pretty reliably. Whoops, that shouldn't be like that. Let's get rid of that. Uh, if you're able to get up rocks uh, early enough, and reliably, which you can with uh, Sash Garchomp. Uh, Tapu Fini's nature is madness, always puts things in range of Brine. Uh, and Brine uh, basically doubles its power and becomes a 130 base power water move uh, in um, with, when their HP is lower than 50%. So nature's madness almost guarantees that after a rock switch in on almost any Pokemon. So that's really cool. Uh, so let's uh, let's see how the team works. We have two fairies on here, uh, Tapu Fini and uh, Kumfei. And uh, steel type, that's pretty much the norm right now, is to have always a ground type, a steel type, and a one to two fairies uh, on your team. Uh, and ho potentially even a dark type because of uh, Tapu Lele running around. But we do get stall as our first game. I don't even know if I want to cover this, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but let's see, how can I win this game? Um, I think I win this game by wearing down the Skarmory and then just sweeping with Kumfei, potentially. Uh, I need to get up at least a layer of, of uh, well I need to get up at least my stealth rocks that's that's primordial right now uh, let's lead off with um, let's lead off with Zard as he leads off with Sableye that's perfect uh, we can just easily go for a flame uh, for a fire blast right here he does have the Chansey however which I kind of want to trap with Muck uh, we are assault vest we do have uh, pursuit on this set so that's very nice uh, and I think that might be exactly what I'm gonna do yeah, I'm gonna just switch out into Muck. I can't see him staying in unless he goes for Fake Out. Uh, he goes for Recover. Okay, very strange play because I would have destroyed him with Fire Blast. Uh, he would have been down to about 70%. But uh, we're gonna double right back out into Zard expecting uh, not that, not a knockoff, but rather a um, rather a Will-O-Wisp. I'm gonna switch back into Muck, again predicting the Chansey, as he is gonna switch out into Toxapex, actually. Funnily enough. Uh, let's go for a knockoff, get rid of this thing's item. That's gonna be useful. It's Black Sludge. He's going to get up a layer of Toxic Spikes. Doesn't affect us too badly. Uh, we do have the uh, Muck to scoop them up later. So I'm just actually going to go back into Zard right here. Hopefully he doesn't go for a Scald. He does go for a Scald, unfortunately. However, we are going to get our Sun up and we are going to go for a Roost. That's going to nullify the damage that he just inflicted to us. And uh, make it okay. So let's get rid of uh, that damage right there. And now we are going to go back into Muck. Basically, I'm just trying to trap this uh, this Chansey right here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. He's not going to want to get let his Eevee like get knocked off, I don't think. So I'm going to go for Pursuit. That's going to do 26. That's already very good damage, as he's going to bring in Toxapex. Absolutely fine. Uh, what we're going to do here is actually go into Garchomp directly uh, and threaten this thing out immediately, as he does have the Skarmory in the back. What I'm going to do is set up a Swords Dance, uh, expecting his Sableye to want to come in first, as it does. Beautiful. And now we are going to go for an Earthquake right here, as he does switch out into Clefable, perfectly fine. We get a crit, unfortunately, from my opponent. Uh, I'm actually going to set up Stealth Rocks right here, expecting the Skarm to come in as it does. Beautiful. Uh, and now we are going to go back into Zard, and we are just going to start breaking some walls, guys. Uh, he's going to go for Toxic, which that puts us on a timer that's a little unfortunate, but uh, Fire Blast is going to hopefully be able to do a lot of damage to this incoming Chansey. It is at 62%. It is going to take 32, so that is a two-hit KO, hopefully. Hopefully we can land this one, as we do, and we get the roll. Awesome, so there goes Chansey. Uh, that's awesome for us. Toxapex comes back in. I think that Comfy can pretty easily... Well, I still need to get rid of Skarmory, actually. Uh, that's going to be my next priority. But we're going to go into Muck here. We're going to scoop up this uh, this Toxic Spike once again as he goes for a Scald. Hopefully no burn, as he does not get the burn. Beautiful. And now we are just going to go for another knockoff. Start weakening this Toxapex. He's going to go for another Scald in the sun once again. Not doing much damage at all. Gonna go for another knock. Eventually, he's going to have to recover. He's gonna go for Toxic Spikes right there. That's fine. And uh, now we are going to head out into Charizard right here. Get some recovery off. And uh, I'm, I'm assuming he's gonna do the same. Yep. And uh, we're gonna just roost here. He can Scald all he wants. 
Uh, eventually, he is going to get a burn on my uh, muck at some point. I don't know when. But uh, we are just going to get stole out his skulls, realistically. <laughs> Just by continuing this uh, this perpetual rotating. He's going to go for another Skull right there. It's going to do 18 plus the poison damage of 18. And now we can switch out into Muck. Once again, get this, get rid of this Toxic Spike. We don't need it around. I need the Toxic Spike gone for when Kumfei comes in. Because it's going to get uh, worn down way too easily afterwards. So he is going to just go for another Skull. Very good play. He does finally get the burn. So that was to be expected at some point. Um, I like going into Genesect here. The only problem is that eventually Dugtrio is going to trap me. That's the only issue I see. Um, hmm. Now, you know what? Let's go into, uh, let's go into Garchomp. Let's threaten this thing out uh, as he goes for another Toxic Spike. And now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just going to go back into Zard predicting his, his, uh, Skarmory to want to come in, actually. And eventually I'm going to have to start... Uh, getting my, I have to get my Kumfei in at some point. He's actually just going to go for another Skull. That's fine. Uh, he risked his Toxapex right there, which, which is kind of iffy, but that's okay. We're going to go for a Roost. Going to get back some of our health once again. I mean, this is how you have to play against Stall, guys, essentially. This is this is what you need to do. Just keep rotating until they run out of moves. <laughs> that's, that's literally all it is. Uh, we are going to switch out directly into Garchomp again. I know it's risky on a Scald, but he's actually going to go for the Toxic Spike. Awesome. I'm going to go for EQ here. He does pull the switch out into Skarmory this time. Very good on my opponent's part. Uh, we are just going to go back into Zard now. This thing doesn't threaten Zard too heavily, especially if it's an Iron Head variant. And uh, I'm assuming he might actually defog here. Let's see. He does go for the defog. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what we're going to do is actually just Roost. I mean, Roosting is fine. The Toxapex comes back in once again. And uh, we are in a never-ending loop right now. Um, how do I want to approach this? You know what? Let's go into Tapu Fini because Tapu Fini can actually defog the hazards away, which is really nice. He's going to go for Scald. We can't get burned, I don't believe. Uh, either way, we're fine. Uh, we're going to go for a Nature's Madness right here. I'm going to cut this thing down to half health. As he's going to go for a Toxic Spike, that's absolutely fine. We're going to go for another Madness. As we're actually going to miss that one, unfortunately. He's going to go for a Recover. I guess it didn't really matter then. Uh, how many do we have of these? 14? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let's go for another one. As he's going to switch out into his Clefable, actually. Okay. Uh, well, this thing should die to a Brine right here. As he goes for Protect, I guess he's trying to PP stall me. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to go for another Brine here. I don't, I'm not even hesitating on this. That's going to easily knock out the Clefable. That's his Unaware Wall gone, which is awesome. Um, the only thing I can see coming in here is potentially Dugtrio. Uh, well, I've, if it had Screech. Um, Skarmory works too. Uh, let's just, uh, let's just weaken this thing with Nature's Madness. Bring it down to 50%. He's gonna go for Brave Bird, which is awesome, because that's actually gonna put him in, uh, in Brine, even after the leftovers. So here we go, base 130, there goes Skarmory, beautiful. Looking like Garchomp can sweep up this game, I just need to get rid of this Toxic Spike, which Tapu Fini can do pretty easily because of Defog. So, this is looking very nice. Uh, and then as soon as Garchomp comes in, as soon as, as long as it doesn't get burned, we're pretty much good to go. I like that, um... I like that Ethan put it in power ground on Kumfei to deal with Toxapex rather than hidden power fire. Uh, that's why I suggested Zard Y actually was to break down steel types, but uh, let's actually just go for the I'm gonna go for the Moonblast here as he's gonna go for Screech, and I'm assuming that he's gonna hit me up with an earthquake on the following turn. Uh, I don't really mind that too much. I can just go for Brine here. Uh, he has to attack me on this turn. Uh, we still have 180 defense, so I don't see this thing doing too too much to us. We have 333 HP. It's probably going to do about 40, 50 maybe. Uh, 60, okay, that's fine. He's going to take the Brine, down goes the Duck Trio, and now all that's left is the Sableye and the Toxapex. We are going to go for a... I'm actually going to go for Nature's Madness first to lower this thing. Uh, he's going to go for Scald, that's fine. Does he get the burn? He does not, okay. And we are going to go for a Defog right here. We are going to get rid of this Toxic Spike. He's going to go for another Scald. Gets the burn this time, all right. We are going to go hard into Garchomp, not even thinking about it. He's going to go for the Recover. That's absolutely fine. We are going to go for the Earthquake here. Catch the Mega Sableye. He does have Will-O-Wisp on deck, so we have to be very careful about this uh, and how we play it out here. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Uh, you know what? I think Kumfei just beats the rest of his team. I'm, I'm not even going to think about it. I want to make this as quick as possible. We're going to go into Kumfei, and we're going to start going for the Calm Mines here. Uh, he can knock me off if he wants. It doesn't matter. Toxapex is going to come in. That's fine. I doubt it has Toxic as its last move. We're going to go for Leech Seed anyway. Uh, as he does have Haze. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we can just go for another Calm Mind here. 
as he is going to go for a Scald. Uh, that's Even if he burns me, it doesn't matter because of the Leech Seed. Uh, and he can keep going for uh, Haze if he wants. I'm going to Hidden Power Ground him here as he's going to go for Haze. There we go. Uh, the burn is uh, equal to leftovers in this generation, so he's not actually getting anywhere. He's just going to waste all his recovers at this point. Uh, and we're going to go for another Hidden Power Ground here. He's going to go into Sableye. That is absolutely fine. Uh, we do have the Draining Kiss for this, which we are going to go for. He's actually going to go back into his Toxapex, which is fine as well. I can just keep firing off Hidden Power Grounds. Uh, he's letting his Sableye get weakened, so I really don't mind too much. Just going to go for another Draining Kiss. I don't know if he's trying to PP stall me or anything, but... Uh, I'm gonna go for another Hidden Power Ground here. I don't need to go for Leech Seed right now. Like, his Sableye- he just put his Sableye into a KO range of, uh, of Earthquake from Garchomp, so this is really not an issue. I'm just gonna go for Seeds here. He's probably gonna go for Haze. There it is. Gonna weaken the Toxapex a little bit further. We're gonna go for Calm Mind now, as he is going to go for the Recover. That's fine. We're still at the same amount of health. Just gonna go for another Hidden Power Ground. There's the Sableye once again, and uh, we're just gonna go for a Draining Kiss. Uh, and that is going to crit him and knock him out. So down goes the Sableye. And now all that's left is the Comfey, and I can just perpetually set up on that. So that's going to be the game. Uh, we are 15:42. We're really low right now. So we gotta we gotta pick it up. Uh, Ethan told me he was having a little bit of trouble with hacks with this team, um, missing like Nature's Madnesses and stuff. There aren't too many moves on this team that can miss. Uh, I think Fire Blast and Nature's Madness are the only ones actually. Everything else is a uh, is 100% accurate. So, I don't know, man. It's, um, oh, maybe Air Slash as well, yeah. Air Slash is there to deal with Mega Venusaur, or else the team is kind of weak to it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, I don't like this matchup at all, <laughs> if I'm just being honest. I'm gonna lead off with Genesect. We haven't gotten to see it yet, as he's gonna lead off with Gliscor. Now, I did, <laughs> I told him to dig off Ice Beam. Lovely. I'm gonna go for U-Turn. He's going to go for Protect. That's fine. We're gonna just U-Turn again. Uh, he might think that we're not choice and want to switch out just to be safe. Nope, he's just going to stay in. Uh, and we are going to go out into Tapu Fini here. Uh, hopefully he's not the uh, the Toxic Protect set. Uh, he's going to go for knockoff. Awesome. Okay. And uh, I think we're going to go for Nature's Madness here. Lower something. pretty. Get something pretty low. That's, that's going to be the point here. Uh, if he goes into Scizor, that's awesome. He goes into Tapu Koko, so this is going to lose half of its health right here as we connect. Beautiful. And now we can just go out into, uh, I think, Garchomp, actually, on a potential electric move. I don't really want to uh, mess around. He's going to go for Dazzling Gleam, so great play on my opponent's part. He is Life Orb, though. I do want to keep this to potentially get up rocks later. So I am just going to switch out into Muck here. And he's going to go for another Dazzling Gleam. We're going to be able to eat that up thanks to our Assault Vest. And then I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the knockoff, actually. He's going to go for Volt Switch. That's going to do a good amount of damage, but his Tapu Koko is extremely low now. It dies to one more Life Orb hit plus rocks, which means I need to get up rocks ASAP. As he's actually going to go out into his Gliscor, that's fine. I'm going to get rid of the item, not that it matters, of course. And uh, we have to switch out here into Tapu Fini. And uh, then we can pretty much freely fire off a Nature's Madness at that point, I think. Let's see what he does. He just goes for the Earthquake. It's not going to do too much, thanks to our good bulk. And uh, we are going to fire off a another Nature's Madness here, honestly. Uh, in comes Sloking. That's fine. That's going to take a nice hit. There we go. And now we're going to go for the Moonblast here. Uh, I know it's not going to do too much, but it's going to do enough. I'd love to see him switch out into Tapu Koko, honestly. Or just go for uh, a Slack Off. I think that would be his best option. He's going to go for Scald instead, okay? That's fine. Um... I'm actually going to be a little bit risky here and switch out into my Muck as he is going to go for a Slack Off. Beautiful. And now we're going to go for Pursuit, expecting him to switch out. I don't see him wanting to stay in on a Knock Off right here. So we're just going to click that. And uh, we should be faster than Slow King as well. Uh, as he does withdraw, awesome. He's going to lose a lot of his health. He's going to come in at 50, so this is really good. Uh, and we are actually just going to go into Zard Y at this point. Because nothing switches into a Fire Blast anymore, except for his, um, except for his Slow King. So, we can pretty much safely, I can even go for a Solar Beam if I wanted to at this point. I don't see him switching anything in other than Slow King. Um, but we're going to play it safe. We're just going to go for a Fire Blast. He's going to stay in. His Gliscor is going to go straight down. So, that's a huge threat gone. That's awesome. I can totally see Tapu Koko coming in here. Um, there it is. Awesome. And now we are just going to go out into Muck. As we know, we can easily take the hit. Uh, except if it's a Thunderbolt, then okay. Not as well, but uh, we can just go for a Shadow Sneak here. 
and knock him out. Uh, if he switches out into anything, it takes damage, which is awesome. His Tapu Koko is going to go straight down. Awesome. So no more of uh, that fast threat around. And uh, rocks aren't seeming as important at this point, so I might lay lay off on those. Uh, Zard's looking quite healthy. Is it going to be a Charizard Y Live or what? Um, <laughs> I think I can sack off my Garchomp here at this point. Uh, it's fine. I'll just let it go down. He goes through the bullet punch. He's going to take a little bit of it. Uh, damage right there and we're gonna go into Zard. We're actually gonna fire off a solar beam right here expecting the uh, Slow King to want to come in. Uh, I can't see him sacking off his scissor just yet. Oh, okay. He's, he's gonna sack off his scissor. All right um, That uh, wait what happened absorb light. Okay, I did 15% not bad uh, Let's go for the roost on his next bullet. Uh, we should be fine to take these We're we're good as long as he doesn't crit us. Let's go for another roost uh, as he's going to switch out into Slow King great play and let's go into Tapu Fini here. I can see him going for the slack off, which is fine. Uh, he's actually going to go for Scald. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and I'm just going to go for a Nature's Madness right here. If he switches into anything, it loses half its health. Keep that in mind. There goes Clefable's health. And uh, we are actually just going to go for a Moonblast here because I have a chance to lower this thing's special attack, which is always good. As he's going to go for Stealth Rock, so he puts himself in Brine range, actually. Which is awesome. Let's see if he uh, if he predicts it. He does predict it. Okay, he goes into Metagross. Very good play. Um, my Defogger is this Tapu Fini, which means I need to get it back in later. So I need to get out of here ASAP. Uh, let's go into Muck. Uh, Genesect can deal with the Slow King relatively well, as he's going to Mega Evolve and he's going to go for the Zen Headbutt. Okay, that is fine. We are going to go out into Genesect. And I think... Do I play it safe and just click Flamethrower? Can I switch into Slow King is the question. I can, but only so many times. You know what, let's go for the Flamethrower. I'm sure he's gonna expect a U-turn. I'm, I'm, I'm almost sure. <laughs> he's gonna go into Slow King. Okay, so good play. Uh, he predicts that quite nicely. Uh, what I'm gonna do actually is just stay in and Flamethrower again. Uh, as he's actually just going to uh, go for a Psychic. Okay, surprising, very surprising. Uh, I say that, guys, because if he allows Tapu Fini to come in, then I get rid of his rocks. And then pretty much anything on my team except for Comfate can kill his Clefable at this point. So I don't really understand that play. I'm just going to go out into Tapu Fini uh, on this turn as he's going to go for another Psychic. That does not knock us out, and we are able to go for the Defog right here freely and get rid of these rocks, which is awesome, as he's going to go for another Psychic. And then we are going to go into Genesect, and we are going to click U-Turn, because we are a plus one attack, and this is a Slow King and not a Slow Bro, guys. So this thing is going straight down if he stays in. I'm, I'm relatively sure, like, unless he's Max Fizz Def. Uh, he's going to go into Clefable. This is going to take a nice chunk as well. And what we can do is just go into Zard. I'm going to click the more accurate move uh, in Air Slash, which should be able to finish this thing off. Hopefully we connect, because uh, if we don't, that's a big issue. <laughs> so... Uh, I'm seeing Genesect finishing off this game potentially with Flamethrower. We'll see though. Um, Zard is, uh, not Zard. Metagross is an issue. Metagross is always an issue. That thing is going to come in and Zen headbutt me to the next dimension, isn't it? <laughs> I feel it already. Um, no, he's going to go into Scizor actually to weaken me. Hmm. Okay. Well, do I save this for later? I mean... No, I'm just going to go for Fire Blast. He's going to go for Bullet. It's going to do a good amount because he's banded. But we're going to be able to get rid of the Scizor, which is awesome. And I'm assuming he's going to go into Metagross now. I think he just needed to get me in range of a Zen Headbutt, essentially. No, he's going to go into Slow King, actually. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go into Comfey. And Comfey is max defense. I'm going to Leech Seed, whatever whatever comes in. Uh, if he stays into Slow King, I Leech Seed it. If he uh, goes into Metagross, I just Leech Seed it anyway. So we'll do that. And uh, yeah, let's do that. Calm Mind is slow. It's not It's not Prankster. It's, uh, it's Triage. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, Metagross is going to come in on the Leech Seeds, which is awesome. And now we are not going to chance losing our Genesect right here. We are just going to go for a Hidden Power Ground. He's actually going to go for Earthquake, so great. Uh, he's going to let his Metagross take a little bit more damage. And that should put it in range of U-Turn, so that should be the game right there. Uh, unless he has Bullet Punch and he crits me. He's going to go out into Slow King, so I guess okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Leech Seed here, and he's going to essentially allow me to set up uh, some Calm Mines in front of this thing, which is pretty detrimental. 
Uh, and here we go. Let's go for Calm Mind. Uh, actually, you know what? Um, am I afraid of this thing? I'm gonna go for Hidden Power Ground, actually, just in case he wants to switch back out into his uh, Metagross right there. We're getting back a lot of health right here. I'm gonna go for Calm Mind on this turn. We'll see what he wants to do. Uh, he does stay in. Awesome. Okay. He's gonna go for another Scald. Uh, that's gonna do virtually nothing, and now we can start fi firing off a little more powerful Hidden Power Grounds. Uh, how much did we do before to the uh, Metagross? 25? And how much is it at? I can't see. Thank you, Showdown. Uh, he is going to go back into the Metagross on the Hidden Power Ground, and that's going to be a dead Metagross. And that should be the game. We are at 20 minutes, and we've only completed two games. This, uh, this team plays a little bit slow, but it's okay. We're going to go for Leech Seed. Uh, that is priority, of course. Uh, not that we need it, because we are quite fast, as is. And he's going to forfeit finally, so there we go. Played that one quite clinically, I think. Let's get one more. Hopefully this one will be a little quicker. Uh, Zard putting in a lot of work so far. I don't want to give it thumbnail. I think I'm going to give it to... Um, probably to Tapu Fini. Because uh, Tapu Fini has actually been putting in a lot of work. And uh, maybe Comfey. Yeah, definitely Comfey. Because it just won us that game, so... Um, let's see. Okay, this is a lot more of a standard team. Uh, I kind of regret not having Ice Beam right about now on Genesect. That's going to come into play here, isn't it? Oof. Alright. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Let's lead with Garchomp. Because Garchomp gets off Brock's pretty reliably. Here's the Thunderous. Uh, we get to see if this thing is Scarfed, which is nice. Um... But I'm just going to go into Muck. I don't want to risk taking an HP Ice. Uh, there it is. And uh, we're going to go for a Pursuit because I think he's Scarfed. And we're going to deal a lot of damage to this Thunderous as it switches out. So uh, there we go. And 61%. Sweet. Okay. In comes Metagross. Threat. Threat is here. Uh, <laughs> let's go into... I don't want to go directly into Zard. I'm actually going to knock off. Let's see. He goes for the Thunder Punch, predicting the Zard. Yep. And we're going to get off a huge knockoff right there. And then we're, we are going to switch out into um, Genesect right here, actually. Because Genesect gets off a free U-turn. Uh, or even a Flamethrower, actually. He's going to miss his Meteor Mash, unfortunately. And uh, we're going to go for the U-turn. Getting quite lucky, actually, these uh, these past few games. It's only when I record, I swear. Uh, <laughs> going to go for the U-turn onto the Marowak. Going to bring back in our Garchomp. And I'm actually not going to play around with this thing. I'm just going to go for an EQ. If he wants to switch out into Celesteela, that's fine. Uh, as we will just be able to get up our rocks at this point. And Celesteela only threatens me really with, like, Hidden Power Ice, I guess. Uh, and rocks up really, really helps against his team, especially with the weakened, uh, the weakened Scarfed uh, thing. The Thunderous, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. Uh, we're going to go directly into Zard here. Uh, no reason not to, as he's going to go for the Heavy Slam. That's going to do a little bit of damage, not too much, though. And we will be able to fire off a... Fire Blast right here. Uh, I can totally see him going into Zygarde, though. Why did I say totally? I never said... I never say totally. <laughs> what? What was that? All right, let's go for Fire Blast anyway. Uh, Top of Finney is actually going to come in, so it's going to have to take a Fire Blast into Solar Beam. Let's see if it can pull it off. Uh, we are going to go for that, and that's going to do a clean 37%. I don't think it can take this Solar Beam. I'm really not sure, guys. Uh, let's see, and nope, there we go, so hazard removal is gone, that means that Celest uh, Celesteela has taken 12, uh, Marowak's taken 25, so is the uh, Thunderous, so looking pretty good, uh, Hidden Power Ice did nothing to muck before, we are at 49%, I'm pretty sure we can live a Thunderbolt from Scarfed, he's actually gonna go to Metagross, okay, curious play, uh, I, f I foresee the Thunder Punch <laughs> coming my way in my near future, let's go into uh, Genesec right here, as we are, we are going to get the special attack raise. It's going to go for T-Punch. Uh, it's going to do a good amount of damage. However, uh, I'm pretty sure that U-Turn into another U-Turn would be able to take this thing out. If he stays in, I'll just sack off Comfey. And uh, I really don't need it this game, as you guys can see. It doesn't handle anything on his team. Like, Celesteela beats it. Uh, Marowak beats it. Even Zygarde beats it, realistically. He's going to go out into Celesteela on a potential flamethrower in the sun. So, very interesting. Uh, going to go back into Zard here. As our sun's about to fade on the following turn. However, this is a free fire blast on this turn. Uh, no matter what comes in, it's taking a lot of damage. Unless he goes for protect, there is that. Uh, I kind of want to predict the, Z the Zygarde to come in on this turn and just go into my Garchomp. Uh, I think that's my best play, regardless of what he does. He could just go for the Leech Seed, though. Yeah, let's go for fire blast. Okay, it goes into Marowak, so that's... I mean, it would have worked out, but it's fine. Uh, he's going to take a good amount of damage right there. That's a uh, Stab Fire Blast. This is Stab Air Slash. Uh, this goes to 160. It's resisted. 
165, so it's resistant and goes down to 85, uh, 82.5, something like that. Okay, so Air Slash is actually weaker than Fire Blast, uh, surprisingly enough. Let's just go into, uh, like I said before, Comfey's not really doing anything in this game, so I'm going to go into it here. As he goes to the Shadow Bone, that's actually not going to be able to do enough to us. That's quite surprising. And we're going to go for the Leech Seed here. And uh, basically, if he allows his... Mar actually, let's just go for Hidden Power Ground. Let's weaken this thing a little bit more. Let's get it in Rock's range, so that even if it switches out, it's no longer a threat. Uh, he's going to go for his own Stealth Rocks. Okay, so good play. Uh, that's going to limit my Zard switch-ins for sure. Um... Okay, so you're not an offensive variant, right? So let's go for another Hidden Power Ground here. Knock this thing out. Beautiful. And uh, if his Metagross wants to come back in, it takes Leech Seed, so that's going to be nice. Uh, Zygarde's actually going to come in. I'm going to Leech Seed this thing before it gets a chance to set up a Substitute or a Dragon Dance, whatever it wants to go for. There we go. So we're able to Leech Seed that thing. And my opponent's going to forfeit, actually. Wow, okay, I was not expecting that, but I guess that's going to wrap it up, guys. We were able to pull out three wins with Ethan's team. Thank you, Ethan, for uh, lending me this team, uh, even though it wasn't with your consent. <laughs> I kind of just grabbed it from the chat, but uh, it's really fun to use. And uh, guys, make sure to go check him out in the link in the uh, description down below. A link to his channel will be there. Uh, he's also doing a live with this team, I believe. I don't know how much success he had with it, but he's got a really cool setup with a with an awesome mic. I enjoy watching his content. But yeah, that's it, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao!